be very, very quiet. There's a state trooper performing an inspection over there. We don't want to attract him over here. I'm in Bemidji, Minnesota, same place we went to bed. Let me show you what we're working with. Oh yeah. That's a truck. That's a trailer. We need to put freight on that trailer. Pays a lot better when you have something on it. So what we got is we got a load of lumber waiting here in Bemidji, just on the other side of town. I gotta pick it up in about 40 minutes. We're gonna put it on here. We're gonna tie it down. We're hopefully not gonna to have to tarp it. I don't think I'm gonna to have to. I've never had tarp it at this location before. So we're gonna put it on here. We're gonna tie it down real tight, real snug. And we're gonna take this back to Winnipeg. My name's Trucker Josh. If you're new, welcome here. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos almost every day. There's playlists on my main channel where you can go back and watch me all the way back to like 2011. I've been doing this a little while, so there's a lot to catch up on. Or you can just start right here. Hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down below saying, hey, I'm new, and everyone will come and welcome you. That's my truck. That's the trailer I'm pulling. And that's a rusty rim. We won't look at that. Let's go get our freight. Let's, let's go do something. Sitting around here is not making any money. I've been sitting around waiting for my appointment. Had a great coffee right in here. This is a Senex. In the southern part of Bemidji, just at the corner of the 71, and what is that, the 2 over there? What highway are we near here, 71, and the, come on, GPS, that looks like, oh no, yeah, Highway 2, that's what I thought. So, Minnesota State Highway 71, and U.S. Highway 2, right at the corner there, just south of that intersection. That's where you'll find me, if you were here, but I'm not there anymore. By the time you're watching this, I'm long gone. These videos are released about a week after I film them, the, the week gives me time to edit and put these together because I am the actor, the vlogger. I guess it's not acting because this is real. This is real reality TV. I am the face on the screen. I am also the producer behind the screen. I am the editor and I am the executive everything. On this. I do everything myself on this channel. So I need that extra time to get things done because I'm also a truck driver and that also is very demanding, 14 hour days. So I, I work a lot. So anyways, don't forget, did I tell you already? I'm going to tell you one more time. Hit that subscribe button down below and buckle up because we're going to start this day. Let's grab that lumber. Let's get it back up to Winnipeg. I already have another load booked for tomorrow morning. So after I deliver this, I run over to the other part of Winnipeg, grab another load, and we're taking that load to Brandon, Manitoba, west of Winnipeg, north of North Dakota. So let's go. He's still going with his inspection over there. And I don't know why I'm just hanging around here waiting for him to come inspect me. Let's get out of here. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, old blue. Don't embarrass me. There's a trooper over there. Come on. <laughs> act natural, act cool. Dun, dun, dun. We're just gonna slowly roll out. Dun, 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 dun. I am, uh, I'm gonna go this way. I was gonna go that way, but eh, I'm just gonna sneak under the radar. I got nothing to hide, just so you know. Like, if he wants to inspect me, he's not gonna find nothing. But at the same time, I'd rather not take the chance. We're just gonna go around the front. Good night.
nice and slow. Don't attract too much attention to yourself, Josh. Just a guy driving his truck. No need to inspect me, officer. I'm. I'm. I don't know why we get so nervous, all truckers do, about getting inspected. Like I said, I don't think he'd find anything. But at the same time, I have an appointment to get to. And I just don't want to take the chance. They <laughs> just quietly leave the area where inspections are being done. Get on to Highway 2, enter the runway for our takeoff, and I'll be 15 minutes early for my appointment. Perfect. not driving loading cargo now the government knows what I'm doing nosy okay and there's a record of that for if they ever ask ah okay let's get our fancy shoes on here I guess I should get my vest on and everything too he might ask me to move yet here he comes all right there he goes this should be pretty quick I'm feeling good today. It's going to be a good day. Very good. Zip. All right. Come with me, everybody. Come with me. Come on. Make sure you put your vests on. I think I'm in a good enough spot here. He's going to load that up right on here. Beautiful. Beautiful. I will check in on check in with you in a bit didn't take long there's the freight according to my gauges we should be sitting at a beautiful 34,000 on those right there and we should be sitting probably 32 to 33,000 on those but I need to put fuel in those tanks yet which will bring us up pretty close to 34 that's if the gauges are correct let's hope they are 
We have air gauges on the side of our trailer here, which will tell us how much pressure is in the airbags, which we can translate into how many pounds are on each axle. So it should be just under 34,000 pounds on that axle there. And there's a the load. Let's take this to Winnipeg. Let's get this out of here. You know what I'm going to do, Ashley? I wonder if I should add another strap to these here. I don't think I need to. No, I'll be, go I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be okay. Strap down real tight. It's just I have the wheel right here, right? So there's not really any... I'd have to go across here. I don't need that. That'll be enough. If I'm thinking about it, I should probably do it. Let's, let's see how far this will slide here. Oh. Ow. Did I just cut myself? That's why you wear gloves, Trucker Jack. Why you should be wearing your gloves. Okay. That's as far as it'll go, so it will go up to here. Yeah, I can put one across there. No, it didn't cut. I'm fine. Just fine. But I will go get my gloves before I finish this off. One more strap. Why not? Why not? If I think I might need it, but probably not, I should probably put it on anyway. I'll grab a little shorty. A little shorty shirt. A little shorty shirty. This is for you. My gift to you. How will we do this? Okay. Should work. It works from there to here. It'll work just over the edge of all of them. A little bit of extra security. Never hurt anybody. So if you're ever tying down a load and you ask yourself, should I put that extra strap on? The answer is yes, every time. Every time. Yes, put the strap on. Put the extra strap on. Secure me. There we go. So I want that to be in your heads from now on. Whenever you're looking at your load, you're tying it down. And that question comes into your head, should I? I want you to hear my voice say, yes. Yes, you should. And this up here, I belly wrapped this overhang and I sucked it in on that side and on this side with the winches. So both sides are good and tight. That'll keep them together and keep it from doing things I don't want it to do. Thought to myself the same question before. Should I belly wrap this? The answer is yes. Should I go the extra mile? Yes, you should. Always, always go the extra mile. And if you say to yourself, no, I don't want to. I'm, it'll be good, it's okay, I'm too lazy. Smack yourself. Yes, yes, you should do it. Don't be lazy. Let's get out of here. It's gonna roll the window down, but maybe I'll wait. It's a pretty dusty yard. Turn my AC off so that my engine fan turns off. Kicking up quite the dust storm. Come on, engine fan. I don't need you anymore. Hey, it's gonna stay on anyway, isn't it? There we go, now it turned off. If you want your engine fan to turn off, one thing I've learned from you guys in the comment section is turn your air conditioning off. The engine fan turns off sooner. I learn stuff from you guys all the time. It's still a very dusty yard. Off we go. I'm gonna stop by Grand Forks Flying J, grab some fuel. And then we'll go up to Winnipeg and find a place to sleep somewhere in the city or near the city. 
my receiver is first come first serve anytime between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. I'm gonna try to be there at quarter to seven. turn left but that'd be an awkward curb running turn all right here we go here we go blast off
state itself is beautiful. It's great. People are great. It's the weather. I'm pretty sure it's the negative 40 degree weather half the year that, you know, sort of like Manitoba. But we like it that way, right? We like it. We make fun of ourselves, but we like it. The cold keeps out the riffraff. It's very hard for people to create or commit big crimes when their face is frozen. It's just a fact. It's hard to steal anything when your hands fall off because they froze. You see that smoke? Like it smells like bonfire out here. But the sky here is just like, that's not fog under those lights, that's smoke. It's gotta be another forest fire. There's always something burning, you know, always something. And you know what? It's usually caused by careless humans. So be careful when you're out on the trails, riding around. Most of these fires are preventable. What's the stat? Something like 90% of fires are like caused by humans and the other 10% are caused by lightning strikes. Now we can't really do much about the lightning strikes, obviously, but be careful when you're out in the bush, guys. If you're out on your quads, ATVing, or if you're out there camping or hiking, even if you're running down the highway, like don't flick your cigarette butts out the window. 
It's like a dollar to buy a butt cup. It keeps the smell inside there so it doesn't stink up your car. And then when you get to a gas station, you just dump it out into a garbage can. I mean, it's so much better than flicking that cigarette out the window. I mean, I see that in front of me all the time. And, uh, you know, when the ditches are really dry, that can roll into the ditch, start a fire up in the ditch. And if you're in a forested area, that could spread into the forest, start a big fire right away. And people might laugh at me and say, oh, that would never happen. <laughs> it does. It does. You can read up on it. That's a big cause of fires. Uh, obviously, if you're out hiking and camping, make sure you extinguish your cigarettes properly. If you have an ATV, it is law to have a spark arrestor. So that sparks don't come out of your exhaust pipe. That can light up dry ground too in the bush. Campfires should be put out properly. Like This is all common sense stuff, right? That all of you obviously go, well, duh, common sense. Apparently to some people, this stuff isn't common sense or they just, they know. They know, but they're just too lazy. Or they just blatantly don't care. Or they're those people that would say, oh, that never happens. It would never happen to me. I'm breathing in smoke now. Look at that smoke. That's, like I said, that's not fog, that's, that's smoke. I could probably Google what fire is raging right now, but I'm just, I'm so over it, I'm so sick of it. Every single summer. It was never like this when I was a kid. Growing up, I don't remember summers being smoky every summer, but now it's like, for the past three, four, five years, every single summer, like half of summer is just ruined by smoke from forest fires. And like I said, they're all fires that were started by careless humans. Frustrating, right? Like, this is my home. I want to be able to breathe in my home. Oh, well, then there's the people who, you know, blame it on other things, and they believe that if they tax us, uh, that will stop the fires. Well, you know what, we've been being taxed with our carbon tax for a few years now, several years. I've paid a lot of it, believe me, <laughs> I've paid a lot of it. It's still smoky out here. It's, uh, nothing's really changed yet. Maybe it takes a little while to really kick in, I don't know. But hey, maybe if they just tax us a little bit more, it'll get better. You never know, that seems to be what they think. But any hoodle, without diving into politics and government things, you all know how I feel about the carbon tax. It's time to go to bed. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I appreciate you. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're healthy. And I wish you all the best. If you want to support me and my channel, best thing you can do is leave me a comment down below. If you're new, definitely leave a comment down below. Everyone will welcome you here. I've been making videos for 13 years, and we try to make a video every day. So there's a lot to catch up on. My playlists are on my channel. You can go check them out there. They're all organized by year. And a bunch of other categories there as well you can check out. So keep your stick on the ice, keep your eyes on the road, use your turn signals, turn your high beams off in traffic, and I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to go deliver this freight and uh, get on to the next mission. Should be fun. I'll see you then.